Hello friends, this video on states of matter part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching the video, please make sure that you have watched all the parts till part 3. The next kind of uh, force is dipole and induced dipole force. So here if you see, uh, this is also an attractive force and operated in one polar molecule having permanent dipole and the other one is, is not having permanent dipole. So one will have permanent dipole for example in this case, the other will not have dipole but this guy since this guy is the negative charge, this will induce a dipole here. So, so we discussed three cases now. The first case was uh, we have London force where it was uh, uh, non-polar, both were non-polar and then I had my uh, dipole dipole where both were polar. And then when I have this case where one is polar and the other is non-polar. Okay, this is polar, this is permanent. So this guy will induce dipole and then it will be dipole and induced dipole force. So here also interaction energy is proportional to 1 by R6 where R is the distance between two molecules. And here induced dipole depends on guess what? Obviously, one thing is the permanent dipole here and the second thing is the polarizability of the neutral molecule. Please note, if this guy, the neutral molecule is easily polarizable, you can easily get the charge here. Right? That is one factor. And how strong is this polar molecule? How strong is this guy? This guy is strong. This can easily influence this guy. Right? So, two factors. One is how strong is this permanent dipole and the second thing is how Polarizable is the neutral guy. That means how easily this guy can be convinced. See, because the whole plan is to convince this guy, right? To get a charge. So if this guy has more charge and he has more influential, he can convince this neutral guy to become charged, have, to get charged. So it all depends on how strong this guy who is charging and how uh, easily convincible this guy is who's getting charged. That depends on uh, uh, how easily they'll get the charge here, right? So same thing here. Logically, if you see it, the dipole and induced dipole force, the strength of that depends on the strength of this permanent dipole and how easily this uh, uh, the neutral can be polarized, right? And also note that the large size molecule can easily be polarized. So this thing we know. Say so this is large. And this has more power, it's a good recipe for dipole and induced dipole force. Correct. And high polarizability increases strength of attractive uh, interaction. Obviously, because when it is more polarizable, you get more positive negative charge. When it is more positive charge, the attraction will be more. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests. Get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.